Hey friends, it's Brian and today I'm going to be working on my 1994 to F350 IDI 7.3 diesel build. So uh, last episode I discovered that the fuel pump, which is down there, is dead. So I'm going to remove it. That's what this one's all about. So let me get situated and I'll be right back. Alright, so first thing is first. I've got my couple of uh, lights here. These are Coast lights. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they're battery powered clamp style lights. They were the only ones I could find when I needed them. And we're going to be working up here. So let me get situated with what size bolt this is. And then we've also got to disconnect this. So I'm going to go get some wrenches. I'll be back. The uh, first thing we need to do is get this this um, fuel line off here. And this is a 5 8 wrench. Uh, I've already kind of broken it loose a little bit, so it's not going to be a real struggle. But you do want to watch this because you don't want to get a face full of diesel as you do this. Three thousand better ways to do this. But one thing at a time. So I have some carpal tunnel issues in my left hand, so it, uh, it's hard for me to do this. And I have to rest my hand frequently, let it relax. And I can't get up here with my other hand and I'm blocked on the other side so I can't reach over and do this. This is just really uh, not a great location. Um, but it is what it is. They needed it down here uh, where it could not have a whole lot of head. diesel. Now, the bolts on the itself are 9 16 And so I'm going to break them loose. And then I'm going to sit here and cuss at them. All right, you know what? This is just going to have to move. So this is actually a ground clamp location. That's interesting because there is no ground clamp here, but that's a good spot for one. So we'll probably put one back down here at some point.
still is a ground clamp. A really lousy ground clamp under a hole. All right, well, that's something else that needed to be worked on. Is there another fucking... All right, let me see what's going on with that. Okay, so there is a second 916 bolt above that. And we're just going to take this off with a ratchet and a deep well socket because that's what I have handy. It's a very small bolt, so that'll get that out of the way, and then this is clearly not an appropriate ground, so we'll deal with that later, but that, that gives me a little bit more working room to address, oh that was a, looks like it was a frame ground, yeah that's a great, we'll look that up and see what's supposed to be there. So these are 916 bolts. I'd really hoped that a ratchet and wrench would fit in there, but that is not gonna happen. And this one in the back, wow, what a pain in the ass. I wonder if I can get to it from behind it. that the camera positioning sucks. Sorry guys, it is what it is. Um, so I rigged up a swivel, a 916th extension, and a ratchet. And this appears to enable me to get up and behind this bolt that is otherwise really hard to get to. shit in the way in the space. There is a lot of stuff in this this little corner of the engine bay, all of which is competing with you for access to this spot. again. It's interesting, this is not the first radiator this truck's been in. This has the uh, automatic transmission cooler in it. 
even though this is a manual transmission truck. You know, whoever's idea this was to put this here should have to change a hundred of them in a field. Apparently, once you get it a little loose, you can't spin it. All right, well, we'll just go back to doing it the hard way. an emphasis on hard way. I mean, at least the front one is somewhat accessible. bolts. Alright, you know this uh, conversion to electric might happen sooner.
All right, there's one. Wow, what a pain in the ass. Now let's work on the one in the back. This is just all difficult to get to. All right, bring a book. Five eighths, and this is actually nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. you're going to get a quarter of a turn at a time, a few strikes at a time. Wow, what a pain in the ass. So, what do we got here? Very, very easy to move. All right, folks, that's how you get it out. So, uh, I'll do another video on the installation, break this in two pieces because there's going to be some folks out there that need to take it out and then go get another one and put it back in. And there'll be somebody that are only interested in one side or the other. Thanks for watching.